See, that fire is burning right now. It's happening along Farron Avenue at Fulton Street. That's just north of I-95. Let's go back to that video. It was just sent into us, as Darren was saying, into our reported feature. Now, there are homes in that area as well as some small businesses. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live at the scene with the very latest. Stephanie. And Darren, this fire is still burning very strong. Crews have been unseen for about an hour. We know one woman taken to the hospital. She is now being transported to the Bridgeport Burn Center. She has suffered some burns, but a police officer on scene it tells me that she was alert and talking when they transferred her to the hospital initially. But I want you to look at this scene behind me. Flames are still continuing to pour out of this building here at the corner of Fulton Street and Farron Avenue. They say around 4 o'clock this afternoon, many calls came into 911 reporting an explosion. Now, we don't know what people were hearing, but the explosion happened, whatever that sound was, and then flames started pouring out of the building, according to witness accounts. That one woman taken to the hospital, New Haven Hospital. She is now being transported to the Bridgeport Burn Center. At this point, they don't know if everybody is accounted for because they don't know how many people were in the building when this fire started. But crews have been working for more than an hour now trying to get this fire under control. You can see many businesses are in the area very close to this fire. I'm told that a business was on the first floor and that people lived in that second and third floor. So at this point, uh, they don't know exactly how many people were in the building when it started. They've got one person transported to a hospital now at the Bridgeport Burn Center. When they took her out, she was alert. She was talking. So far, no firefighters have been hurt battling this blaze. And of course, as they work to put this out, that's when the investigation begins as to exactly what caused it. All we know at this point is the fact that those 911 calls were reporting explosions. For now, we are live in New Haven. Stephanie Simone, News 8.